hey, this is Shiraz, and before we get started, I just want to let you know that when I clear something for someone, when I cause a shift, I tend to yawn and cough from the energetic shift that happens. I don't know why it happens. It's just how my body works. And if you don't know that, you're going to listen to this video and go, what the hell is wrong with this guy? You might still think that, but now there's more of an explanation. The other thing to keep in mind is that if you hear something that you can absolutely relate to, when I clear it for them, you can get it cleared for you too. Just say yes when they're saying yes, and it works. It's, I have people that watch these videos every morning to get stuff cleared. This can be your new morning habit too. Okay, that's enough for that. Let's get on with the video. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you get a great shift out of it. See you soon. So here's here's my question, and I don't know where the block is for this, so I can't, I can't self-correct. But it occurs to me that part of it is um, the distinction between trying for something, striving for something, moving for something, you know, pushing forward for something versus just being. With, on the other side of that chasm is the just being. Yeah. And how, I can't figure out how to make that mental leap. Like, I can't figure out how to get there from here because it's, it's still, I'm still in the striving space. Okay. And so I don't want to be stuck in the striving space. So what's, What's what's the issue there? Okay, so one of the things you have to do is imagine yourself on the other side of the striving space, just like I said, where you have that success and you've got your team of people and you're working with your clients and hold those thoughts for 30 seconds or more multiple times a day. Okay, so is it possible that... that is it possible that... I want the success, but I don't want to have to manage a bunch of teams. I don't want to have to grow a big thing. And I don't want to have to, I, I don't, those are, I don't want to have to grow a big team, make a big, you know, edifice. Okay. That feels very bureaucratic to me. Okay, but what do you want to do? Um, I want to attract money. <laughs> want okay, money everyone money. here wants to attract money. <laughs> What do you want to do with your life? What do you want it to look like? Well, so what I want it to look like, I think, is, um, you know, I have a book that I want that I want to influence a bunch of high schoolers going to college and set them set them up on their life path in a good way and give them some tools and make a difference for them. And I want something disseminated and to become kind of a perennial favorite for everyone. Okay. Um, along with that, I want to have some group coaching, some kind of deep group coaching, limited group to kind of walk through the process for how they can get themselves mentally set up for that. And as an adjunct to that, I think I need to build out a thing for parents about helping them transition to having adult children and, you know, letting, helping their children cross that bridge and not, you know, lead them across the bridge or beat them across the bridge or not let go, not letting them go across the bridge, right? So that's kind of what I want to do. All right. So my question is, how often are you focused on creating that versus not creating the tea and all the things you don't want in success? Well, I haven't, you know, sort of hired people. <laughs> well, I don't, so I haven't monetized anything yet. So I, I haven't monetized anything yet, so I can't hire people. So maybe that's the thing. Maybe it's that I really just don't want to have to hire people. Maybe yeah. that's it. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. well, that's, what, right. that's what you started off talking about. I don't want to have to manage these teams. And yeah. if your belief is I'm going to have to have teams if I grow my business, then, oh, let's just not grow the business. Problem solved. Okay. So can we okay. step out of that story? Okay. <laughs> that I have to have a team in order to get where I <laughs> Okay, there's there's a couple things there. Number one, are you willing to step out of the story that you have to have a team if you grow your business? Yes, but I don't see that path. I, I don't see a path that wouldn't require that. So okay. yes, I'd love to step out of that story. I just um, okay. don't know what the alternative would be. Well, you know, the alternative is full automation of your business. <laughs> Uh, That's one alternative. So okay. here's, and, but here's the thing. What's happening with the team is the, the problem is always emotional. You don't want to have to fire people. You don't want to have to make people feel bad if they're not doing a good job. 
So this is you trying to avoid those emotional interactions, because if you know it's always going to be happy and fairy dust and rainbow farts, then, you know, you'll have a team. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So are you willing to step out of the story that you will, you will not feel good managing a team? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes unicorns fart rainbows and that's where the rainbow farts come from okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay are you willing to step out of the story that you have to make sure you don't make other people feel bad ow there's so many people reacting to that yes okay see here's the thing the intention is not to make people it's to make people feel good not make them feel bad but if you are worried about making people feel bad that's going to affect your business it's going to affect how, how big your team is it's going to affect your clients because you're more focused on not making people feel bad than just making people feel good so your attention can either go into this push direction i have to make sure i don't make people feel bad or it can go into i'm going to make people feel good but it can't do both at the same time. You'll pick a priority and your priority is over here now. I have to make sure I never make people feel bad. That makes me a bad person. I feel like crap. Don't ever let that happen. So the solution to that is to keep everything exactly the way it is. Don't rock the boat. Don't expand. Don't get to a place where you might make people feel bad. Don't have too many clients because those clients might feel bad by something you might say. So let's just keep it small. Keep it safe. Ooh, you're feeling that, aren't you? <laughs> I'm I, actually, you know, part of it for me is also that I, I, I have pretty high standards. Mm -hmm. And so to help me, I need people that also have high standards okay. and it is a challenge sometimes okay. to perform at their higher levels yeah. than just, you know, uh, so here's the uh, thing. It's okay, the same yeah. issue. Yeah. The same issue in that you're worried that you won't have people performing at the highest level rather than excited that you can have people performing at their highest level. Right. So yeah. you're, you're pushing back the bad outcome, not inviting in the good outcome. Yes. 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 Okay. okay. So okay. let's start with the first one. Are you willing to step out of the story that you have to make sure you never make people feel bad? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> are you willing to step out of the story that people aren't going to perform at their highest level with you y yes that's not a real yes okay so can 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 i can i off can i ask yep. you one how about, uh, you know, I need to step out of the story that people, so I love humankind, but people are a pain in the ass. So okay. I, need, I need to step out of the story that people are a pain in the ass. Okay. <laughs> or the bleep, sorry, pain in the bleep. <laughs> you can say ass on my channel, it's fine. Okay, good. Okay. That's the story I need to step out of, huh? Because I really yep. do think. Oh, yeah. It's going to affect everything in your life because people are everywhere. I know that, and they're, <laughs> and they're <laughs> oh, okay. Get them away, get them away, they're people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, Ooh. Yeah. Oh. And, and those kids you want to help, they're going to turn into people too. No, but the kids I want to help are, they're right at the beginning. We can, we can, we can, we can create, we can create wonder and beauty with them. I have, that yeah. is. You know, kids are awesome. And they'll just never turn into people once you get a hold of them? No, no. This is the point is that they're they're transitioning to people. So this is the yep. perfect time to work with them so that they can transition to wonderful people. Okay. And perform at their highest selves. Okay. And be so fulfilled and lead great lives and do great things in the world. Right? Okay. So yeah. are you willing to step out of the story <laughs> that people, people are all annoying? Yes. <laughs> yeah. 
Are you willing to step out of the story that people will always fight the change you're inviting? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. How's that feel? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I can, I can see, um, I can see where the problem might lie. <laughs> it's, <laughs> really? it's a pretty fundamental one, isn't it? Uh, okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Inviting the good. Mm -hmm. It's, it's a, it, that's a focus and intentional kind of thing, right? That's also standing on the other side. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I can see that. Yeah. Yes. So here, here's the thing you got to remember is that our nature is to look for the bad. Because back when we were cavemen, if you see a saber-toothed tiger and you don't acknowledge that that's going to kill you, you will die. So you spend three times as much effort looking for the bad, trying to prevent the bad from happening than you do looking for the good. That's just how we're wired, which is why you want to flip it. And for every negative thought, try to have three positive thoughts. I go for five just to make sure you fully tip the scale. With. But start noticing where you're focused on stopping the bad and shift your thoughts to, no, let's get out of stopping the bad to creating the good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We can try that. No, don't we can, try. We, wait, we can, yeah, I got it. I got, we can do that. <laughs> <laughs> we can practice at doing that and then ultimately do that. Yes, good. <laughs> we, can, okay. we can bridge to doing that. All right. Okay, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a like. And if you had a shift of your own, I'd love to hear about it in the comments. Also, check out the description for energetic magic events that you can attend every single month. Be well, be aware, and be magical.